welcome back into Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch. We're building up to this big derby. It's the Crusaders taking on the Chiefs. And if you're just joining us, there was some big news before the game. Scott uh, Barrett, I should say, uh, has been ruled out of this one. And Cody Taylor will captain the side. Jeff's you, laughing you really at me. You really want Razor yeah, to play, don't you? You're, this is the second time you've almost said Scott Roberts. But you know what? Even though he's out, uh, this Crusader side has still got nine starting All Blacks. Yeah, it's impressive. Fun. It's impressive. But I mean, if you look up, it's it's here. It's on the light stands. It's where all the titles are. They know how to win at home. They yeah. play so well here. Look, it's it's an impressive outfit. We know their depth. The fact that they can suffer some changes. You roll into Quinton Strange. Bottom line, Beaver. They set the standard. They have yep. set the standard for a long time now. And it's up for everybody else to meet the mark. I love watching them play. They tend to frustrate me from time to time. They're on the edge, but they're a wonderful, wonderful franchise. So what are the keys? If you're coming down here, what are the keys to winning a game? here, Beef. Well, I was fascinated when Clayton McMillan was talking earlier, and I guess I reckon it's what every Chiefs team has ever talked about when they've come down here. It's nailing moments, and he talked about how Can uh, Canterbury Crusaders are going to squeeze you with their maul. So that's around your discipline, not giving them penalties to kick into corners to just squeeze you and drive walls and pick up cheap penalties. So it was fascinating, but the discipline's got to be sharp, and they've just got to get, if they get an opportunity to score, they've just got to score. Well, well, let's hear from the head coach of the Crusaders now, then Scott Robertson is standing by with Cal Tanana. Ray's, what's the focus been like this week? Uh, really good. Uh, focusing on footy, keeping healthy uh, as much as we can, but also just knowing um, how good the Chiefs are when they're on. I was going to say, how wary of you of a pretty hurt Chiefs team, I'm sure? Uh, yeah, we're really wary. We've had a lot of battles that have um, come down to it in the last few years. We've had a some tight tussles, um, some really good fights. And, and look, the, the history shows if they get under our, uh, our skin, you know, they traditionally win. So there's a bit of mental skills done this week, yeah. But how good is it to be playing at home? Oh, awesome. Um, limited crowd, but uh, nothing better. You know, like to play at home. This is why the guys uh, play. Go, Ella. Cheers, thanks. That's a good point. They are back at home for the first time, and there's also a crowd in here as well. About 1,100 on site, which is fantastic. Look, we'd love to have more so we can get greater atmosphere, but if anyone can deal with the challenges yeah. that they've faced and they set the right culture here, they understand everyone's going to have a role to play. They had a number of players get their opportunity last week and had to stand up against the Moana Pacifica. So, Beaver, they've probably got the right man in charge in terms of making sure they're clear on their roles coming in. Oh, absolutely, and that's why, you know, we joked at the start that it's a big swing, Barrett not playing, but couldn't strike. Like, you're not going to lose anything there. He's going to come and he's going to do his job, as you'd expect with any Crusader. Cody Taylor is captain. Of course, Richie Moonga coming back into the starting side as well. That'll be big. Well, that's helpful, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. helpful yeah. having one of the best players ever to play in this competition. And look, the same pressure is on him, though, like another pl a lot of players on the back end of 2021. And we talk about, yes, this is super rugby, but all of them have got eyes on bigger things. Richie Moonga is in a fight for the starting 10. So, bottom line, they've got to come out and play and perform. I was laughing because we just saw a shot there of George Bridge. He's on the bench. Yeah, a bit of diff. Yeah, a bit yeah. of diff in the yep. <laughs> bit of crusade. He and played about eight test matches last year. <laughs> That's handy, right? And it's funny, you talk about the importance of Moanga. I look at the Chiefs and they, without Weber, mm. all of a sudden that 9 10, you know, Brent Gatlin, very experienced footballer, but it just doesn't have that same look at it. They've got two young halves tonight. Yep. And Xavier Rowe and Cortez Atma, who are going to get their chance, and they're great footballers, but they wouldn't have ever experienced this sort of situation. I love how you find a way to bring it back to the Chiefs. You're going to have plenty of time to talk about this because we are talking the tall timber. We're talking about the locks. Sam Whitelock uh, coming up against his All Blacks teammate. They must relish this chance. This is an All Black great. And he's going to go into the Hall of Fame. He's one of the best we've ever had. Look, he took a, a, a small break and played in Japan, but he's come back, and I'll tell you what, he has been as good as ever. The big challenge for him is, is the next 18 months, and he needs to continue to step up. A lot of challenge uh, around the All Blacks in terms of their physicality. He's one of the guys that's going to have to continue to show it. Look, I love his leadership. Everything he stands for in the Crusaders, he does it every week. He's on the edge, like all of them in, in Crusader land, but I'll tell you what, he is a remarkable player. And on the edge, you mean giving away penalties, don't you? Um, no, I mean, he, <laughs> Said Sam, like a true Chiefs man. Sam White, like, you cannot, you cannot question. I mean, he's been unbelievable. And what a clash tonight against his great locking partner, who, yeah, as Jeff said, the two of them are the greatest of all time, probably as far as locking partnerships go. But Brody Retallick, he is so much for the Chiefs. And he's got Tupo Vai with him, who's just becoming another little Brody Retallick, really. He's big, he's strong, he's got the offloads. But Brody Retallick's importance to this team he was sorely missed last year. He makes the seven other forwards in the team grow another inch or two. And he's back doing Brody things. He's ranging, as you're seeing here on the screens. 
Yeah, physicality is huge for me and when it comes to Brody because I know he can do all of this. This skill set has always been there. He's certainly getting his confidence back. I look at his game though and I see to myself, he's the guy that's the leader. Yep. He's the guy who will set the standards. He's the one that will be actually, he'll be in the face of his teammates from the All Blacks. And I love that, the fact that if he sets the standard, all of a sudden, the rest of that Ford pack, who know they're up for it, but like the guy right beside him, Sam Kane, something special between the two of them. It's all about their leadership. Who's more niggly out of these two? They're all niggly. <laughs> uh, you, all of them. You want to talk about the attitude and the edge and uh, the hate of the Chiefs of the Crusaders? Just watch Brody Retallick tonight. He'll be leading that. Mm, OK. <laughs> well, next up, we're talking about the number eights because you've got the Fiji and Flair against the Argy Bargy, Jeff. Pablo Matera. Yeah, um, uh, Pablo Matera has come to the Crusaders look, looking for an opportunity. And the funny thing is, everyone's thought that maybe he's been a little bit quiet to start the season. What he's been doing is been doing his job. Now, when he's played for the Haguarias and played for the Pumas, bottom line, he's had to be a standout. He's had to be had to put up his hand up and have a huge impact. Whereas here at the Crusaders, I expect he's been asked to do his job. And his job is be physical, is be direct, is be combative around the breakdown, all the little things you would expect from a Crusader. I think in some ways he's going to become a more consistent player at this level. He's clearly enjoying his time in Christchurch. The perfect opportunity for him. Well, you are oh. excited to see him come into the comp, weren't you? Oh, I was. I mean, he's one of the world rugby players that you watch on TV and you just get excited about. And he offers something just a little bit different to your traditional New Zealand loose forwards. He's a lot more abrasive and, and just does his own sort of thing, really, when you watch him play for Argentina. But the guy's marking tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, if you talk about the man on the other side, Peter yeah. Garsawakula, he's been one of the more exciting players uh, in terms of Super Rugby as a whole this year, Jeff. Best hurdler in the competition. <laughs> That's what he is. He won't get away with it in the future, but he has been a standout. If the platform's in front of him, this is the sort of thing he can do, and he continues to add to his game, Beaver. It's not just about carrying now. There are some subtleties to his game, and that puts him in a bigger conversation. I mean, talking about subtleties, this was superbly done. He knew what was the scrum was going away. He sucked in two guys and freed up Weber. You talk about his carries. He is so important to this Chiefs pack. They've got Sam Kane and Kylian Bashir playing tonight, who aren't as big a men are going to get over the advantage line like a Peter Gus. And he is instrumental. He offers that, just that slight bit of difference to the rest of them. If the three wise men were watching this one, what are they going to want to see from this guy? Well, I hope they're watching. I hope <laughs> I they're mean, watching. We know they will they're, they're, All the stars are in action. Yeah. And bottom line, what do they want to see? Continue to do what he's doing well. Be that physical presence. Lead by example. Be very strong defensively. That's the next step for yep. me is the fact. Continue to hit. If he does that, then all of a sudden he becomes part of that conversation. We've got so much depth and so many positions positions but in some ways it feels as though we need some fresh faces I don't know if they want that but I look at a guy like Peter Gus Sawakula and says you know what I offer you something you may not have and it's form you just can't, you can't yeah. so far you can't, just can't ignore his form yeah but this is going to be the challenge yes. tonight isn't it? Does it tonight this is going to be the real test we're going to get uh, your tips after this but first let's find out what's going on at the TAB Well, I've got all the odds for you. There's been plenty of changes coming into this one. So how will it impact the odds? The Crusaders, they are clear favourites. Just under 80% of all money in the head-to-head -head market sits with them. Half of all total bets in the winning team and margin are on the Crusaders, 1 to 12. 13 plus, the next favoured option with punters, with half of the amount of bets as 1 to 12. But still, 40% more bets than the Chiefs at 1 to 12. Uh, now, there is the TAB bonus back offer on this match. Place a pre-match winning team in margin. Bet through your TAB account and if your team wins but it's the incorrect margin, you'll be refunded up to $50 as a bonus bet voucher. Visit the tab.co.nz for all the details and do remember, please gamble responsibly. It is R18. Uh, there are a couple of debutants though. Uh, before we get your tips, for the Chiefs aren't there. Cortez Ratama being one of them. Yeah, Cortez on the bench. Uh, exciting young halfback. He will get plenty of time tonight, I think, because Xavier's got to start for the first time for a while and how long he'll go, but both exciting. Also, Alex Nankville uh, lining up in uh, the 11 jersey. Jeff, how's he going to go tonight? A necessity, of course, with uh, uh, Nanai Satoru out. Yeah, look, it's a real challenge for any player coming in and certainly not in a familiar position, but you look on the wing, I think for, for me, defensively, he'll be fine if he comes up and uses the pressure he can uh, use. If he gives Sever Reese a little bit too much time, it's a challenge. That's something you do what want to do. Mm. No time and space if you're up against Sever Reese. Tough oh, introduction on the wing. Oh, you're making Sever Reese. You're going to take his speed away. Oh, 
absolutely. Time, absolutely. <laughs> you are going to be rushing. Okay, your tips first. <laughs> right, my tips first. I'll tell you what, after all this information, what I take into account, the Crusaders are at home and Richie Moanga is back. And with that experience on the insides, I've got them in a dominant performance, 13 plus. Eva? Yeah, look, I had them at 12 and under, and then Who's Scott them? Barrett pulled Who's out. Them? So I went Chiefs 13 plus, of course. <laughs> oh, well, I can't wait to watch uh, the match swing. with who you, you two. Who have you oh, got? Of course, I've got the Chiefs. 1 to 12. 1, one to 12. 12. We're going to see who's right in the next 80 minutes, aren't we? So <laughs> the action is just about here. Well, it's been a tumultuous week for our super rugby sides, but the teams, they roll with the punches, and it is a game on. And it's lucky for us that it's two stacked sides. So who will come out on top? Will it be the Crusade? or will it be the Chiefs? Welcome to the Greatest Grudge Match. The reason why I keep sticking around because I just can't imagine my life without the Chiefs and without you boys. When you think less people expect you to win this one. Oh, I'm not a Chiefs country, no. Super Rugby Pacific continues in Christchurch tonight as the Garden City plays host to the competition for the first time this season. Kia ora koutou no mai haere mai. Welcome to Orange Theory Stadium, a rematch of last year's final between the Crusaders and the Chiefs. Jeff McTainch on the call tonight. Carl Tenana sideline alongside me, a man who won a number of titles in this city over the years. 81 Test All Black, Justin Marshall. Kia ora, Justin. Good evening to you, Jeff. KT downstairs. Kia ora. No mai haere mai. Let's face it, two teams that don't like each other very much. Let's see what they're going to deliver this evening. Well, after a positive COVID case in Chiefs camp and a number of players self-isolating, coach Clayton McMillan has been forced to make a number of changes this week. Up front, a special night for All Blacks prop Angus Taubo as he runs out in his 50th Super Game for the Chiefs, alongside Aidan Ross and Samasoni Tokiaho. On the blind side, last week, the talented Tupo Vai locks the scrum tonight in the absence of Josh Lord, alongside 92 Test veteran Brody Retallick. That sees Caelan Boshier promoted to the loose this week with Peter Gus Soakula and captain Sam Kane. A brand new 9-10 combo for the Chiefs tonight. Xavier Rowe, Bryn Gatlin and for Brad Weber and Josh Huani. After coming off the bench last week, Anton Leonard Brown gets his first start of the season, partnering Quinn Tupaya in midfield. And Mone Narua dangerous at back as always. Alex Nankerville and Sean Stevenson on the wings. And debuts tonight off the bench, George Dyer and Cortez Ratima. Well, Scott Robertson, let's face it, an embarrassment of riches, Crusaders legends and All Blacks. And he's really flexing his muscles with the team that he has named this evening. And it's a massive boost also to the front row and the team. Cody Taylor starts at hooker. Newell and Moody, the props. Second row, Sam Whitelock will thrive on the contest tonight. Partnering him is Quinton Strange. Tough games need tough men. So roll out the hard man, Ethan Blackadder. Tom Christie at seven and Pablo Matera at number eight. The back line is full of firepower, including a first start for the mercurial Richie Moonga at first five. Outside him, the silky skills of David Harvelli on display at second five with Braden Enor alongside at centre. Do you want to talk about some Hex Factor? Leading this back three, the unstoppable Will Jordan at fullback with wingers Sebu Reese and Lester Fyinganuku. The reserves, as always with this team, pack a punch, and in particular George Bridge, who will be thirsty for full work when given the green light. It's been a beautiful day here in Christchurch. Let's head sideline now, Katenana. Yeah, kia ora, Jeff Marsh here, Koto Ma, Orange Theory Stadium, and all Tote's looking mint. It's quite mild at the minute. Pitch looking nice and fast. Two Crusaders won the toss, chose to kick uh, playing left to right, but buckle up, men think this one is going to be hearty. Kia ora, KT. Well, they have been the benchmark once again early on this season. And great to see some fans here tonight at Orange Theory Stadium. 1,100 of the loyal Crusaders members as Cody Taylor captain tonight of course Scott Barrett a late withdrawal before this game changes on the bench too 
but it is a game we have all been looking forward to a rematch of last year's final number of changes for scott robertson and what a season will jordan has had seven weeks amongst the tries as well they'll be busy tonight you'd think and the back three for the crusaders well, 11 changes where Richie Moonga gets his first start of the season. A huge 2021 campaign. Saw him make 13 starts for the Crusaders, 10 tests for the All Blacks. A big part of that final two we mentioned against the Chiefs, kicking 14 points as always. Instrumental as the champions will look to remain unbeaten this season. Well, last week against the Blues at Eden Park, they led with five minutes to go. Ended up losing that one, 24 points to 22. A win over the Highlanders in the opening round in Queenstown. But they are a side full of talent. And that man with the ball in his hand after all of the injury issues he had last year. Great to see him back and busy too, Sam Kane. 92 test all black, Brody Retallick will have a war tonight in the tight five against a very good Crusaders pack, even without Scott Barrett. Well, if they are to set a platform tonight against the power of the Crusaders, a lot will rest on the shoulders of Angus Ta'aval. A special night for the 31-year-old, running out in his 50th Super Game for the Chiefs, 122 in all. Of course, time at the Blues and the Waratahs. A real character in New Zealand rugby, highly respected. Big night for Angus Ta'aval. Our referee tonight here in Christchurch is Brendan Pickerel, Angus maybe Dan Wanger running the touch, and Glenn Newman is the TMO. You ready, Sam? Oh, it's been six years since the Chiefs last beat the Crusaders in Christchurch. It's all on again in Christchurch as Richie Moonga gets this one underway and down for Anton Leonard Brown at his first start of the season for the Chiefs. They for Xavier Rowe and they'll look to work it out through the captain Sam Kane to ground. Holding wide! Holding. Yep. Think it goes to Gatlin. That's a high ball drifting just outside of the 22. Knock on wide. And in fact, it's with the Crusaders and Braden Enor who presents it. 26 metres out from the Chiefs line. An early chance here for the champions through Joe Moody. No, Untidy ball on. for Bryn Hall. Moonga starts to get his feet going early in the game. Richie Moonga almost broke through. Dragged down in the tackle. Here it is though for Will Jordan up in the line. Now Cody Taylor, a couple of tries last week. He's looked good again early in the season as Moody breaks through. Just can't hold on. Braden in or... Now the Chiefs scramble through Emone Narua. A lively start to this one at Orange Theory. And chasing back is holding Jordan. Reed, Only a time to size up the kick, puts up the contestable. Chasing well as well. And uh, Sebu Reese makes the tackle. David Avili, in fact. And it's there for the Chiefs. Long opening start to this game. Now big Brody Retallick. Just get out of my way to Fletcher Newell. Holding wide. Maybe a row back to Gatlin. Chase is coming, still not out. That's brilliantly done. Sean Stevenson. He got the ball away too to Narua. So now it's the Chiefs' turn. What a frantic start to this game. It's to fire. It's the pass away. And just outside of their half here. And a chance to build inside the Crusaders. Peter Gus saw a caller, frees the ball away to Ross, but it's been lost forward. Justin Marshall, what a frantic start. Oh, I strapped this out in. Early doors, this looks like it's going to be very entertaining. Plenty of ball movement. A couple of big shots. One in particular from Brody Retallick off the Moody break. It needed to be made, and it was. He hit him hard because Enor was right off his shoulder. And then the Chiefs with the kick from Gatlin. Stevenson retrieved it, and they got onto the Mojo. 
Good start from both these sides. Ball movement. And it looks like we're set for some entertainment this season. Here's the moody break. And then, bang, across comes Retallick at the right time. And they couldn't make that pass stick. Already there, Marsh, you can see the contestable kicks. A lot of teams have gone to this. Rather than kicking it long and letting teams counter-attack, they've gone to that high contestable, regardless of what area in the field they're in. Like it. That's 22-year-old Tupo Veit. He's on the blind side last week. And tonight he locks the scrum with fellow All Black Brody Retallick. Well, that's just the classic ankle strap on the outside of the boot. Obviously, they don't have time to whip the boot and the sock off. So what that indicates is he's either sprained or just rolled his ankle. Tupu Vai. You might actually have a look at that. Tupaya. And there's Vai. You can just see he lost his footing as he stepped on the left foot. The surface is very slick out there, KT, isn't it? It hasn't been played on, and it's looking... Absolutely perfect for some fast running rugby, which we've already seen. Yeah, 100%. Marsha, you had a look on, uh, walk on it just earlier on when teams are warming up, and yeah, no, nah, she's real fast. They want to want to lose this guy. He's in the injury, he's Dallas, tough to the way. Well, first scrum of the game. A number of changes to Scott Robertson's side. So hard to compare with last week, but they were effective against Moana Pacifica, particularly that man at the back, Pablo Martira. Their player of the day in the number eight jersey. Coach! Like the option here for Richie Moonga. He's to Five. the left of Bryn Hall. He can get a good platform from Matera. Oh, stable in the boot with Matera. If it goes to Moonga, stabs the kick. Downfield, looking for the 50 22. Amoni Narawa as well. Covers a cross and sends a kick of his own down as far as Moonga. Now Jordan. What a brilliant try already this season. Will Jordan from the back. Now the Crusaders have a chance through Reese. Oh, ball on the ground. And play on the call for a pickerel. So Strange tries to free it up to Taylor. Here come the Crusaders. Richie Moonga bumping players at will. Off the knee. Bryn Hall stacked to the left here. Sebu Reese. Hall again, short side play. Crusaders tipped on Christie. Lester Fanga Nuku. That's Newell, and again this week for Ollie Jaeger. And Cody Taylor has an eye for the line. David Avili. Seven phases for the champions. Hall looks at his options. He goes to All Blacks veteran Joe Moody, who's swamped by Brody Retallick in the tackle. It's okay. Yeah, Marshy called it. Big turnover, and the Chiefs needed that. I think he was held by Brody Retallick. It was a good aggressive tackle from Retallick. And the way that he landed, he landed on top of the player, which meant that it provided a bit of a bridge for Sam Kane to rest on, and the ball was sort of sitting there. He was on it quick as a flash. I thought he was simply outstanding last week against the Blues, and unsurprisingly, he started off in the same note. Sebu Reese managed to kick that kick in play. Still in play with Reese. Fantastic work. Now Taylor cutting back on the angle up to the 22 again. The Crusaders. Reese will play half. Jordan at first receiver. Big cut out past David Arvili. Again, good defense from the Chiefs. Retallick involved again. Kick over the top. Moonga. Here it is for Pablo Martina with the left foot kick. Players chasing. And they're back. The Chiefs. Sean Stevenson did well, but Brennan Pickerel will come back. Gee, that must, Braden Enor must have been very close to getting his hand to ground that ball. Number two, was it? He did raise his arm up, Offside, number indicating two maybe he got some downward pressure. I think early indications here for me, though, are there's been two instances oh, where Narawa didn't make touch and Will Jordan launched a counter-attack, and that time not finding touch from a penalty. And Sebu Reese, look at that outstanding skill set. If you don't be accurate with your kicking game, they can hurt you big time, the Crusaders, with their back three and the potency of it. Yeah, there's three kicks, in fact, Marshy, too. They nearly got stung on with the counter-attack, so that's something they need to look at. Contestable was good, the long ones not so much, but the offloads also from the Crusaders, when they're taking it in to contact, they're offloading that ball at will. The, the Chiefs somehow need to stop their pill coming out. 
You're right, Marshy. There wasn't much in there between Sean Stevenson and Braden Enort. He's the highest point scorers for the Crusaders, Dan Carter and Andrew Murdens. Your old mate, Marshy, ahead of Richie. Both old mates, yeah. Hard to surpass two legends of the game, <laughs> stacking points up like that. He's on target early. No problems for Richie Maunga and the Crusaders. Coming up to seven gone at Orange Theory. They lead the Chiefs three points to nil. That one once more down as far as Fanga Nuku, Pablo Matira. And so abrasive so far this season. Hit the move over from Argentina. And real headache for Scott no. Robertson with Cullen Grace also on the bench. Maunga. This will be fielded by Bryn Gatland and plenty of time for Imoni Narua to make the kick himself. Beautiful afternoon here in Christchurch. Great conditions for rugby. As it uh, goes down to Gatlin once more. Holding here, White! Again, he signaled the contestable. There it is, hanging on the Crusaders' side of halfway for David Havili. Advantage here for the Crusaders. No one home. Oh, Jordan makes a great kick inside the Chiefs' half. No one back there. No advantage. Uh, there'll be no advantage. So Brendan Pickerel. White, all offside. Will come back the Chiefs' offside. White players within the 10, not retreating out. Well, we've mentioned it already. If you're going to kick to the Crusaders, it needs to be accurate. Nutterwa's kick was not. It was long and deep with no effective chase. And then there was a counter punch from Richie Moanga. Subsequently, Bryn Gatlin's kick didn't go far enough, put all of his players offside, and now they'll piggyback the Crusaders of poor discipline back into to their half, and they'll have to start defending again. Guys, Chiefs, Chiefs, way over here. Come down. And it goes for the Crusaders. White goes up off the tail throw. Christie away to Sebu Reese up on the line. Ethan Black out awaits. It is there for Hall just outside of the Chiefs 22. There it is for Black at it. What a season, a start to the season at least he's had. Now, Havili. Ball loose once more. Now the Chiefs through Leonard Brown. Try and put a step on Quinton Strange. But the tackle is eventually made by Blackadder. Xavier Rowe. Bandage over. This time will clear himself. And the flag is up. 10 metre line on the Chiefs side of halfway. You keep them here, Angus. Stay there. Now playing with speed off of set piece here, the Crusaders. Now Christie winds up. Been peerless in the tackle department this year. That's a good charge by the flanker. And ball loose again. Uh, well, Jordan will try and take on Peter Gusso Akula. Won't win on that occasion. Pablo Martira. No. Crusaders playing at a rapid pace here. Another advantage from Brendan Pickerel. Never supporting your body weight, too. Again, ping. Samasoni Tokiaho off his feet. Tempo is high from the Crusaders. Their line out has been lightning quick. They're not letting the Chiefs get set defensively. That one was just a quick one to the to the front. Christie up into the midfield. And all of a sudden, they're in motion. Tokiaho gets his technique wrong. And the Crusaders are back into that zone. On the ball and lifting it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it's clearly to the side, yeah. Back 10, back. Yeah, back they go over the top of Pablo Matera. Can't reel it in, but there for Richie Maunga. Yeah, and smack into Tupo Wai. Paul. And awaiting is Sam Whitelock at first receiver. Short side play again, Matera. Alan Boshia on defence. A little inside pass there for Joe Moody. The Crusaders through all. Play on. And a turnover much needed too by Imoni Narawa. 
almost through again the Crusaders. There it is for Bryn Gatlin offside the call. A near thing again yep. for the Chiefs. Red. That's just offside. the pressure that they're under. The Crusaders with so much possession and territory. Eventually, when you're making the majority of the tackles, you're going to concede line breaks. They did. I think it was Moody again. Quite possibly, he's been involved in too many line breaks. And then he offloaded, or whoever he offloaded to, found Bryn Hall. I thought Bryn Hall just needed to gravitate towards his left, which is where his supporting backs were coming from. Instead, he went to the right, or at least him, left him exposed and got turned over. A line of opportunity here for the Chiefs. Okay, Hall. A clean take. No. Two, and it is there for Bryn Gatlin now. Peter Gus saw Kula in midfield. Advantage. There you right, pleading with Brendan Pickerel. Gets his wish too. No Six. advantage will come from that. Roll. Now this time it's Ethan Blackadder who's pinged for not rolling. goes up that's down the back for the Chiefs and Aiden Ross right his first receiver in the form of Sola Kula again advantage another advantage coming this time Samasoni Tokiao picks it up and goes himself here he is Alex Nankerville late inclusion tonight on the left wing for Eteni Nanaik Saturo Tokiao out the back for Brent Gatlin this is more like it from the Chiefs Gatlin Along the still carpet, though. To and they still have an advantage. Nadawa might make the most of it. Gets the ball away beautifully. Stevenson! Sean Stevenson! <laughs> oh, what a finish from Sean Stevenson. The break from Nadawa. Excellent wrap around from Gatlin. Nankerville made some good inroads with a strong carry. Playing under advantage. The Chiefs show how potent they can be. Nice from Tolkiaho. Here's the offload from Vaiti. Nice from Gatlin because the bounce is favourable for Sam Kane. Nadawa gets rid of Enor. Jordan can only just hang on. Nice little pass. And Stevenson still had some work to finish. Pirouetted out of a couple and bangs it down. The Chiefs, they are lethal. Yeah, three penalties back to back to back from the Crusaders. Let the Chiefs off Gatlin. This opportunity. I thought he'd blow it initially, Sean Stevenson, but he comes here, backs up. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. You don't see that very often from the Crusaders, but he's a strong finisher, Sean Stevenson. Outstanding work from Emone Narua and Sean Stevenson with some finish. And they played with some real tempo and heart last week, the Chiefs against the Blues, and that's a fantastic start after plenty of early pressure. No mistakes for Bryn Gatlin. Good start for him. And so the Chiefs, the opening try of this game to Sean Stevenson. And coming up to quarter of an hour gone in Christchurch, they lead the Crusaders seven points to three. Anton Leonard Brown sizing it up inside the 22. And gets around the shoulder of Sam Whitelock there for Rowe. Setting up the exit. Oh, Kane is driven back. Good staunch defence from Sam Whitelock. The pressure on the Chiefs in the 22. And the Crusaders have done well through Fanga and Nuku. No, the flag's up on the far side. And it'll be a Chiefs throw on the 22. I think he needs to get rid of that option, Bryn Gatlin. That's twice now. Got away Side with that one to it's a degree. Outside. We have to make it clearly but outside. That's a Come dangerous over. ploy at, in that area of the field. High bomb to the wing. Dylan Boshier takes the Tokyaho throw now. No surprise. Who's got it at first receiver? Peter Gus saw a cooler. Well taken care of, too. 
his row. Next the box kick. Leicester Fanga Nuku sizing it up, but Stevenson I think's done well there again. Knock on white though the call. Yeah, yeah. seven white is a knock on. Let's take another look at this try and, and how it is actually made effective. So as the wraparound comes, you can see Vaiti there. Now that's been effectively shut down and usually it'd be a phase. So we'll pause it there. You can see that the Crusaders have got that shut down and Gatlin's making his way around. As we roll it on now, you see Gatlin, because of the offload, Braden Enor got stuck. Now Enor was trying to get across. He gets gassed by Narua and then back inside to Stevenson. Outstanding from Vaiti, set the try up big time. Tight head in, far side. Free kick here for the Crusaders. Tight head, early engage. Go back. What's the call? Scrum again. What a servant he's been. Super rugby servant. There's 50 still some tonight. Play Angus Tahoval. A respected man, of course, at the Blues and the Waratahs. The, the power they're looking for in this particular setup will be coming from Fying Anuku. Coach! He's just lurking in behind Five. the scrum. Sit! Down the far side, I need a reset. Yep, I'm going to come over there. Here we go, let's go again. That's good from you too. Keep it up. So what as a player you're thinking here, particularly as a nine, is you really want to work with your number eight. Because if you do that, you're not stuck in that zone right by the scrum. The number eight can bounce you out and that brings all the other players into motion and you get outside the flankers and the defense. So what you want is good platform, good delivery from eight. Sit. This time trained for Hall to work with. Now it is a little short side option, Moonga. He's got Blackadder ranging on the outside. Ethan Blackadder chasing. Peter Scott, so a call is back. Still on for the Crusaders. And David Avili scores. I talk about some innovation. Richie Moonga, who skirts his way down the blind side. It completely took the Chiefs by surprise. There's a shot where you see Brody Retallick. He just doesn't know what's happened. You can see here, Bryn Hall goes across. The switch back from Mwanga. Brody Retallick and co looked up and also Boshier didn't even know what was happening. So Akula valiantly tried to get back. Couldn't. And quick as a flash off Black at his pressure. David Havili was there. Yeah, because you stacked the open side of the field. You've got to mark out defensively. And then Black at it. Well, he dropped straight off the scrum, kept the width, and Harvilli, as he does, backing up well. 99th game tonight for David Harvilli in the Crusaders jumper. And he hits back with a big try as we approach into the first quarter of this one. Tough angle for Richie Moonga. Can't convert the try to David Havili. Let's take another look here, Mashi. A kick coming from Moonga and Blackhead is storming down. You thought maybe so a cooler got back to cover it. Great finish, David Havili. Now Fanga Nuku or Matira. Big contact coming in from Tupo Vai. And Hall has a couple of big bodies waiting in Moody and Ethan Black at it. He runs into his opposite, Kalen Boshia. Holding Reed. Moonga makes the clearing kick. And up to the 10 inside Crusaders territory. 
Three, keep it get. Nine tests for Samasoni Palkiaho. They have options to aim at here. They go to the back and it's Boucher who goes up for Rowe. Now Gatlin in midfield. Now Quintu Paya. Strong carry from the second 5-8. There again for the Chiefs. Now Gatlin, little short pass. And Narawa up in the line. Now Rowe looks away to the right this time. So Akula. Almost broke through the tackle of Whitelock. Rowe has it though. And Stevenson. Now there for Tolkiaho. It's a momentum downfield for the Chiefs here. Gatlin inside pass for Brady Retallick, who's pleading with Brendan Pickerel. Kalen Boshier plays to the whistle. Now Gatlin, another inside ball, this time for Anton Leonard Brown. Nine phases, and knock on. it is a knock on from hey, the Chiefs. Quiet from all three of you. Mate, you're a genuine chance at the ball there. Knock on. You're a genuine ball carrier, ball chance. Hurry up. Well, let's head now to Crusaders assistant coach Andrew Goodman. Andrew, thanks for joining us. What have you made of the opening 22 minutes? Yeah, pretty fast start, eh? Some good footy from both teams, so uh, hopefully it continues along these lines. Where do you think you might be able to expose this uh, Chief side in the final 68 minutes? Oh, we're just going to keep uh, staying right on those kick battles and choosing our times when to run and when to put them back in. You yeah, stay patient in there. Late changes tonight, uh, Andrew, ahead of this one. How disruptive were they? No, it's been all good as the boys are. They're um, right on their books throughout the week and there's been no real disruption. So we're no, all good to go. Good, good to see some uh, some fans in here tonight, members. Yeah, awesome, eh? A little bit of a crowd. There's some good rowdy runs up on the right-hand side there, so hopefully we can still make some noise right throughout this game. Good on you, Andrew. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thanks. And Hall makes the clearance himself this time. Alex Nankerville sizes it up. And it will be... Uh, Chiefs line out on the Crusaders tent. Over here. Hey, Chiefs, I need you up to the line. Over, the Over the back it goes again. The Chiefs have it through Quintu Payat. Over to Havili. Drags him to ground. And the Chiefs not releasing. Good turnover. Tom Christie. I certainly think that that was part of the plan for the Chiefs, that there was the long throw. It was supposed to go to Gatlin or Dubai, and they didn't quite execute it properly, so it was always intending to go right over the back. You can see the Nankerville and Gatlin coming to receive that. It was just a bit short from Dalkiaho, and it was a bit muddled in the midfield, and then Tom Christie, like a good open side, affected the turnover. Sam Whitelock goes up untidy from the Crusaders. Are you sure? And Knock okay. on advantage here for the Crusaders. None will come. Yep. Well, it's uncharacteristic of the Crusaders. A vest on their own throw in Super Rugby. So far this season. Yeah, Tupubai was the one that got up and disrupted it, that one, Jeff. But it's very noticeable sideline. Just the quickness of which this Crusaders team are wanting to play. Taking that kick to the sideline very quickly before the Chiefs can set and then getting it in early. I was talking earlier about what you're wanting in terms of space. Crouch. There's a nine. Well, it's much harder to work with your eight Bang. from this side here. So it needs to be a delivery from the base. Six. He's got Moonga to his right, though. Bryn Hall. This time the penalty. Down. The way of the Chiefs. Elbow and shoulders down. That's against their loose head, too. Joe Moody. Bryn, you need to take it from back here. And Gatlin with the clearance. No Josh Ioane this Brand week. No line. Brad Webber. Let's bring Gatlin in the 10 jumper. Such a big match, such an important match early on in this Super Rugby Pacific season. Tokyo again. It's Pupo Vai. 
in a row under some pressure the little halfback Not held there Xavier Rowe so he goes again and the Chiefs through Peter Gasso Akula playing halfback for Tokyaho as they rumble over the Crusaders 10 thought about the short side play Rowe now he goes to Angus Tavau super game number 50 for the Chiefs people Vai again that's good build up face plays Quintu Paya short pass to his midfield partner Leonard Brown now Gatlin full of running tonight in the opening 26 Bryn Gatlin lost by red now the ball goes okay. backwards but ripped out forward by red ripped out forward by red will be a Chiefs possession right they look good when they get going the Chiefs just their set piece execution isn't quite right at the moment a couple of miscommunications at the line out there was a long throw over the back that didn't quite work that time the feed down to Xavier Rowe the nine wasn't good which created a scramble but once they get in motion and get their rhythm man they've got some devastating ball carries we've already mentioned Taavel's carrying well Tolki Aho and then you've got Tupaya and as you mentioned Bryn Gatlin is certainly not afraid to take the line on tonight good to see Coach! Bind! Sit! Hold red. Stable set piece here. No red. The weight comes now for the Chiefs. Row tries to get it out. And another right, advantage coming. Red, and hands uh, in the way there. None will, so. The Chiefs with a penalty. Yeah. Deliver it, knock on by nine red. Try to go. Well, he missed a kick to win the game last week at Eden Park. Bryn Gatlin. And he seems to have put all of that behind him tonight. No shortage of confidence. Smiles on the faces too. Marshy, good to see. Dead serious in this box, though. Uh, absolutely. There's plenty at stake here in this grud grudge match. You look at goal kickers. I don't envy them by any means. He's an excellent goal kicker, Bryn Gatlin, and didn't have an easy task last week to try and win the match. All the pressure doesn't take away from the fact that he can step up from week to week and continually be as accurate as he is. Bryn Gatlin, lovely kick, flags up at Orange Theory Stadium. And once again, it's the Chiefs who take the lead. They lead 10 points to eight, coming up to 10 to go till halftime. <laughs> Crusaders keen to play with a real tempo here. Nankerville is met by Sebu Reese. Ball is loose and yeah, Brendan Picker crack. again. Second crack. Two bites at the cherry. Couldn't resist. Sebu Reese. So it's another penalty and the Chiefs a chance to relieve the pressure. Here we are. Well, tactically, I quite like what the Chiefs are doing because usually that's the number eight in that position so a cooler teams like to put the number eight just in behind the 22 where we can see there behind Bryn Gatlin to get that long kick however they've got Anton Leonard Brown and Nankerville their backs catching that ball and then they can phase with so cooler who's a strong ball runner so he's not tied up without any room to move from the kick once more and the Bovai Sam Whitelock and well trying to affect the turnover but still there for the Chiefs five meters on their side of halfway now with Peter Gus saw a cooler once more a lot of chat during the week that he wouldn't look out of place in the NFL well he's certainly playing like it as Tokiaho gets it away to row lovely little ball here they come now through Boshia Kalen Boshia flag up Whoa. just as he looked for some support on the inside he had a great crack at Richie Wonga as well 
and he did just enough more. He made the tackle and got him just before he offloaded the ball and his foot was in touch because there was plenty of support on the inside. This needed to be made and was. Jeez, I'll tell you what, the number two, Samasone Tokiaho, he's had a couple of nice carries too for the Chiefs. Very powerful. Pablo Matera, the dummy jump at the front, so Strange Ooh. has it. Holding! Looked at the back with tonight's captain, of course. You missed the news, no Scott Barrett. Taylor edges towards the 10 inside the Crusaders half. Longer back behind. The ruck, but uh, it's Bryn Hall who makes the clearing kick down as far as Alex Nankerville, the Chiefs veteran, Tasman veteran, Out red, up eight. over their 10. It hasn't been the quickest ball off the ruck tonight for the Chiefs, but they get a kick downfield. They're going to climb for it as Will Jordan. Well, pretty, well, kept at least pretty quiet in the opening 32. In the centre of the park here at Orange Theory. Gatlin, Maeru Emoni Narua. Ball in one hand, he's dangerous, isn't he, on his feet? Emoni Narua gets through the first tackle. Can't get past Joe Moody, right on halfway, the Chiefs. Now it's Tupo Vai. Again, more good service here. The captain to ground, Sam Kane. And Gatlin, another kick. Good kick. From inside his own half, and that's a 50 22. Oh, carry back. No, carry back. Oh, carry back the call. Bounce. 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 Newman said that's out on the field, so we'll come back. He's in the lineup. Tenth season for Joe Moody. He's shown some nice touches too tonight, ball in hand. Made a nice tackle too, Jeff, on Imani Naraway, as you spoke about. Another one missed that first tackle, and there's the shot he put on him. Reds versus Fijian Drew tonight at 9.30 from Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Sunday, it's the Waratahs and the Force from Sydney at uh, 3.30 on uh, Sky Sport 2. Finding that a tough one to pick, to be fair. I did go for the Force. That'd be very good. A couple of Kiwis playing really well. well players that have played rugby here in New Zealand, and Mata'ali and Kahui. Very good, tough, gritty side. Might just uh, throw an upset out there, but uh, don't put your house on it. You didn't hear it from me. Where are you on the picks table, Marshy? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay, but one, one over. That was probably the one I scratched my head about the most this weekend. Now looking forward to playing, of course, the Australians later on this season. Good to see a crowd in tonight. Some fans, at least, for Super Rugby Pacific. Phil play for Morgan. Now he's in black out of the big winder. Out the back for Mongo again now. Will Jordan taken care of by the Chiefs defence just on the Crusaders side of halfway. And Newell, Mongo, little short ball in or well and truly met by Peter Gusso a caller as Leonard Brown goes looking. Penalty advantage here for the Crusaders as Havili is tackled behind the advantage line. So Pickerel comes back. Too long. And it's Leonard Brown who's pinged. Oh, and this is this new interpretation which they say the player was too long, so they feel that he's 
not supporting his body weight because he's showing that he's stretched too far and possibly not on the ball. Hard at the line in, or here's Anton Leonard Brown. Yeah, absolutely. He wasn't supporting his body weight, and that's referring to the letter of the law. Good to see. Get back, eight. Strange. Clean take. Ball. Captain last week against Moana Pacifica. The man with the ball tucked under his left arm got a couple of tries. That's with Hall. David Havili. Good front on tackle, Bryn Gatlin. Moana. Now Enor. Oh, can't quite find Will Jordan. Sebu Reese does his best to clean up the scraps, loses his footing. And Pablo Martira. Okay, that was a knock on. We're going back here. You didn't clearly release him, Sam. Come back again. Brendan Prickle's whistle. Yeah. Once more goes, and it's Seven the Crusaders, no the penalty release. against Sam Kane. Well, they've been very persistent, Shot. the Crusaders, in trying to attack that game line, throwing runners there, forward runners, Havili, Enor we saw before. But the Chiefs defence has been very the resolute in that yeah. zone. They're not getting a lot of change from that particular area of attack. F front balls right at the face of the defender. Maybe have to think about something with a little bit more depth just to try and hook those defenders in and then subtly throw it behind them. And what I've seen too, Marshy, with the, the, the attack of the Crusaders, they're using Richie Mwonga on screen, just a pendulum and pick a side, and he's running across field and then allowing runners to run straight. I'm with you, it's easy for the defence to be able to mm. clean up. Totally agree. Second penalty goal for Richie Maunga. And once again, the lead changes hands. The Crusaders, the one-point advantage as we head toward halftime here in Christchurch. And again, down as far as Jordan. Now, Martira. Tackle. Tackle. Vai Angus Tavao in there on defence. Hall. Long a little chip over down the centre of the park. Or doesn't quite set up for Will Jordan. Gatlin spies a wee bit of space. And that is a very good kick. No, not out, in fact. Sits there for Monga. And he gets away from Quintu Paya. Richie Monga darting down the left. And the flag is up. Is it live, Angus? And Angus may be side of touch. No. Wow. Couple of things there. The first one, Gatlin, was an excellent kick. He didn't get the favourable bounce of the ball. And then Richie Mwanga, mercurial to get out of that situation. Beating defenders, tiptoeing his way down the touchline. Man, he's got some fantastic feet. This time, Sam Whitelock. Oh. Knock on. Knock on by White at the top of the line out. Hit it out of his hand. Decent scrap out there, KT. It's a good contest. Oh, we always knew it was going to be an arm wrestle. For some reason, these two teams just match up so well. Again, you can see there Will Jordan just on the court on the inside for Rich Munger, trying the variation. There's what you're talking about, Marshy. He's strong, footwork, nothing on. I'm going to put a little step on there and a third. Well, a wee bit of time off, of course. He made his comeback against Moana Pacifica off of the bench. Locks in. He knew it wouldn't be long. A player of Richie Maunga's quality to wind back into the sort of form. Sort of a send to that All Blacks number 10 jersey. Fine! Go, boy! Sit! Stable enough for Maunga. Now it's Havili. Fires it away. Here they come through. Jordan. Backwards. Well, has gone backwards again. Munga, off field for Sam Whitelock. Over in Hall. At the back for Braden Enor. Takes on the line. Braden Enor through. Now, can he link up? Enor has Hall in support. Bryn Hall, a good tackle by Rowe. Blackadder plays on. That's Ethan Hall. Blackadder puts it down. Playing. Advantage. Advantage here for the Chiefs. Also close for the Crusaders. Now it might be on here for Leonard Brown. 
Braden in or what a break by the All Black midfielder. Oh, pass! Oh, super oh, Vai, what a pass around the corner. Angus Tavar for Sola Kula, the big fend. Amazing rugby from both oh, sides. Oh, oh, oh. All just goes to ground. <laughs> Take a breath. But that is entertainment, is it not, Marshy? Oh, sit back down. If you weren't standing up, the Chiefs and the Crusaders toe to toe. Scintillating break from the Crusaders out of their own 22 was where the scrum started. Spotted the mismatch to Enor, got on the outside of Ross. Back to Bryn Hall. He pops it up to Ethan Blackadder. And then the scramble defence from Sola Kula is superb. And Anton Leonard Brown decided we'll break out from here. Look at this ball from Tupuvay. Oh, yes, boy. Love that. And then a bit of basketball between Sam Kane, Ta'avel, Peter Gus. Get out of my way, son. Oh, this is outstanding. Kaltenana, that is what you call razzle-dazzle, is it not? You can't say that. I was waiting for Marshy to whip it out, son. <laughs> Give us a RD. Come on, Marshy. Too much razzle-dazzle. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> boy! He promised me a me oh my yes, boy. And I think that Sit. was it right there. As uh, it ticks over half-time no, here in again. Christchurch. There's too much movement there from both teams. We're going to reset. Here we are. Well, what a couple of seasons Balance that has been for this man. Braden Enor has had his fair share of the injuries in the wars again tonight, it seems. The black eye, of course, he had that ruptured ACL, appendicitis, among other injuries. But great to see him back in the Crusaders midfield. And his aspirations for more test rugby are certainly not over. Crouch! One guy they've kept out of the game this entire Why? half has been Leicester Fayang on Nuku. I look at the Crusaders, just want to try and get him involved from this position. Yeah. Yeah. One of those halves for Leicester Fayang on Nuku so far tonight as the Chiefs put on plenty of pressure here. And Pablo Martira manages to spit out with it down the left side. The kick comes and Blackadder again. Work to do for Narawa. Taken out, eight red. And Brendan and Pickerel comes back. Pablo Martira was taken out. out illegally by the Chiefs. Uh, eight reds been taken out after the kick. So you've got a penalty here, which is where the ball landed in 15. Back. Go back. Eight red taken out late. Shot. A couple of variations he put on the kick tonight, Pablo Materi. Put a little grubber in earlier on in the game, and that chip and chase there. Stevenson well just caught awkwardly in the air, can't move. Might need to head down to the Hagley Oval Sheds and grab a box for the remainder of the game. Well, it was typical Crusaders, though, wasn't it? It was a good scrum from the Chiefs, but they've, through Matera, managed to formulate an opportunity to grab three points when their scrum was under pressure and then just a little bit of inspiration gets them into position for perhaps them to go into the changing seeds a little bit more comfortable than what the first half has been as a contest take a four point lead into the break here in Christchurch and he's done it Richie Moonga third penalty goal and it is a heavyweight contest. What a first half of rugby. It's been tense, but at halftime, it's the Crusaders who lead the Chiefs 14 points to 10. Mahukamai, welcome back to Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch, where it's one try apiece, the Crusaders leading the Chiefs 14 points to 10. It's been some advertisement for Super Rugby Pacific here in Christchurch. Let's head sideline now. Carlton Anna standing by with Roger Randall and Scott Hansen.
Rog, they pinned you in your 22 pretty early. You're looking to clean up those exits? Yeah, we didn't exit too well. Same as last week, but when we got down there, we did not too bad. I suppose you must be happy too, the way the team's been able to stick in, to f in the fight. Yeah, we can. If we're decisive with our carries and get a bit more patient, then hopefully we can trouble them a bit more. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you want uh, done, seen done better in the second half? Uh, a bit more connected on D as well. Um, Richie's looked pretty good there, but a bit more connected on our defence as well. All right, go well, bro. Cheers, brother. Scotty, a good old arm wrestle. Are you happy with the decision making? Oh, I think it's really about the execution, really. We've just talked about where we can get a wee bit deeper and apply better skill set through that. So it's a tough old battle out there. We just need to give ourselves a wee bit more time. You continue to play tempo? Yeah, I think so. On our terms, I think tempo's best with that momentum. We've got momentum. We can put it down in behind them and play on top of that momentum. All right, go well. Thank you, Bill. 24 points to 13. Last year in the Super Rugby Old Teodoro final here in Christchurch. A place the Chiefs are looking to win for the first time in over six years. Some first half of rugby. Yeah. They have turned up to play tonight against the defending champions. Bryn Gatlin gets the second half underway here in Christchurch. 14 points to 10. The Crusaders with the advantage. And the early clearance. 30 metres out from their line. Here, Red. And Chiefs ball here. Okay, yeah, that's goes to Retallick. Therefore, Sam Kane now wrote. And Peter Gus saw a cooler as he was in the first half. Used again. Now Retallick. Brady Retallick. Oh, tried to free the pass. Is there for Rowe, though. Now Ta'oval out the back. Here they come through Leonard Brown. Anton Leonard Brown. He's got Nankerville on the outside. Gets it back into him. And Severis goes up to make the tackle. Trying to blow through on the counter ruck here. The Crusaders. They've done well, too. Fantastic work by the Crusaders inside of their 22. Bryn Hall back to Maunga. He makes a touch as well. Frenetic start again. Oh, good again from the Chiefs. They hook Braden Enor in, so watch how far infield he is. The little hook there, the short runner, Narawa. So meant Anton Leonard Brown got on the outside of him. He tried to skin Will Jordan, couldn't get through. Red, one out! Red, one out! One out! Eight, five, one, nine. Just. Stay on! Up for Tupo Now bring Gatlin. Pintu Baya. A little short pass to his captain. Sam Kane. No, no he was the pressure Stay again. On. At ruck time, the Crusaders. And Boshia. A little short side option. Gatlin for Nankerville. Making the tackle is Pablo Matira. And Braden Enor in there as well. Samasoni Tokyaho. 38 metres out from this Crusaders line. Or Seve Reese was up looking for the intercept. It's been hit to head by David Avili. Gets it back and it's there for Blackadder. Now the Crusaders. Through Christie, Matira, Braden Enor, away to. The man in Leicester, Fayam Nanukuo, can't quite free it for Jordan, but it is there for him. Oh. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Five metres out, the Crusaders. Leicester, Fayam Nanuku, strong. Oh, great Hold defense. Up. Goal line dropout. And he's held up, goal line dropout. Well, he didn't see much ball in the first 40, but Leicester, Fayam Nanuku was almost in for their second. Well, he's exploded into the second half, and the Crusaders... They, when they get their rhythm, they are threats right across the park. Ethan Blackadder seems to be absolutely everywhere on this field at the moment. The Chiefs hang on. Excellent goal line defence. Behind him, White. Bring Gatlin. Don't drop out. Don't Down block, as far Chris. as Seve Reese. Martina. Oh, it's blow for blow at the moment. Talking about heavyweight rugby. 
Oh, Jordan. Clinton Strange. No. Here come again Matira out the back for Moonga. Now Vili. The tackle made by Anton Leonard Brown. Moonga floats it across to Reese. Sebu Reese sets off back and field, evades with Peter Gasoa Kula. Can't get around Boshir and Alex Nankerville. In all weights at first receiver. Deep pass Havili. Now Lester Fanga Nuku back fend on Stevenson. He's got Tom Christie in support. Now first receiver, Will Jordan. A new man on the park in George Bauer. And Jordan floats it away for Sam Whitelock. Game 165 tonight for the Crusaders. Here they come in or again. Geez, look dangerous, hasn't he? Off the shoulder ball from Havili. Floats it away. Will Jordan for seven race more. Got an advantage here too. Penalty advantage. High tackle against the Chiefs. Sam Whitelock. Now Reese. Now Jordan has Cody Taylor there. Cody Taylor, the no-look pass in on. And that's just absolutely relentless. Players in motion, offloading in the tackle. Yes, the bounce of the ball is favourable when it goes to ground. Someone scoops it up. But players in general just having a dig, popping, keeping the ball alive. The Chiefs are scrambling like nothing else. But when you've got footwork, you've got players in motion, you've got the ball continually being moved quickly from the breakdown. Jordan has a go. There's another little pop-up from Sam Whitelock. Sevu Reese keeps it alive. There's the favourable bounce. Jordan picks it up. Back on the inside from Cody Taylor. Oh, where do you go as a defender? Just too good. Oh, it's just the variations on the support passes as well. And that's why they're able to give it, because it's always a player in red and the peripherals of the deliverer. And that's absolutely outstanding. One of the best hole runners in the game, Braden Enor. Nice pass, Cody Taylor. Dead in front for Richie Moore, and no mistake. Yep. Converts to try to Braden in or at 21 plays 10, five gone in the second half. Of course, every try scored $500 for the tsunami relief in uh, Tonga. As Katie said, Cody Taylor has scored a couple this season, but that is a thing of beauty for Braden in or. George Bowles on in Jersey 18 just to confirm to replacing Joe Moody and also Ollie Norris has come on in Jersey 17 for the Chiefs replacing Aiden Ross. Cheers, KT. In the way again. Clinton Strange climbs to the sky. He's taken in the air. An interesting little period of play this. Chiefs will have to keep their discipline. Crusaders with their tails up. Back, guys. Just way back here. Plenty of IP in both of these coaching box. I'll be pleased, you have to say, with what they've seen. Plenty of intent. No shortage of effort. An attack from both of these sides. Taylor. For Strange. Now Hall for Maunga. Cut out ball. David Havili. Lester Fanga Nuku. Sebu Reese tackled behind the advantage line. Setting up through Ethan Blackadder. He's not busy tonight, chased everything. Has the All Black loose forward and not rolling here. The Chiefs. It's a tough one. Anton Leonard Brown. It was a good aggressive tackle on Blackadder. I think it was two to three Chiefs players involved. And there was really nowhere for him to roll away to, but that's the law to the letter of the law. See, that's good aggressive tackle. Good from Nankerville as well. They're both on him. And he's pinned there. And he's trying to roll. You can see him trying to get out of the way, and he's milked at Brynhaw. Goes over the back for the Crusaders. And David Havili. Alex Nackerville on defence, makes the tackle on the second 5-8. Moonga waits, but it goes to the try scorer, Braden Inor. He's met head-on by Samasoni Tokiaho. 
Cut out pass Neil. There it is for Moonga. Lights it for David Avili over the top for Christie. Didn't know much about it, but inside of the Chiefs 22. And in fact, it has been lost forward. Seven red knock on. Well, I think what's very evident, we spoke about it in the first half, that the Crusaders were hitting those front runners really hard and were running into a brick wall. Well, now we're starting to see transition runners come in and the, the depth of Havili, Fyanga, Nuku, Enor is starting to really hurt the Chiefs' defence and show them something they didn't see in the first half. So good balance and it was obviously spoken about in the changing rooms at halftime. Xavier Rose night over, just see that left wing, not too good for him, being replaced in Jersey 21, a debut, Cortez Ratima. Cortez Ratima, huge part of the Waikato side en route to the Premiership last season from Piu Piu. A big night for the Otrohonga Club, New Zealand Secondary School Sevens captain. He's 21 years of age in a couple of weeks, and tonight he Cross. makes his super rugby debut for the Chiefs. Bind! Sit! A big pressure coming. But Peter Gus saw a cooler. Play on! All legal! Big fan, there it is for Ollie Norris, just outside of the Chiefs 22. Directing traffic. Cortez Ratima. First touch. And he makes a clearance down as far as Sebu Reese. Infield for Jordan. Now it's Monga just stepping, toying with the defence. Up to Tasto. Anton Leonard Brown. Oh, Bauer puts it down. Puts it down cold. Yeah, George Bauer. New man on the park. There'll be some tired bodies, KT, down there. What's the chat like, sideline? <laughs> Both pretty uh, quiet, I'll be honest. I think they still know these Chiefs team. They need something special to happen, get some points pretty soon. Otherwise, this Crusaders thing, as we know, starting to get a roll on, so they need to find something real quick, I think. Coach! Sit! Ratima needs the chief scrum just on their side of halfway in the boot with big Peter Gus so a cool up. Another advantage here. So they'll try and use it down the short side here. Winnie Narua as Blackadder goes searching Ratima. Big contact from the Crusaders, but no advantage. Well, quite appropriate that. Samasoni Takoyaho was the man charging that ball up because you wouldn't have been privy to it at home, but I was listening to him talking to referee Brendan Pickerel on the way off the field at half time, and he was making a, a not a complaint, but he and he was educating the referee about he felt the Crusaders front row was popping up quite a lot. And that's what happened there. And immediately after, not long after half time, he's got his wish, got the penalty. That's a heck of a kick. To put the Chiefs in prime field position here. Dokiaho, <laughs> oh, the Chiefs just over the top of Brady Retallick. Matira has it. Use it! Big turnover Holding for the Crusaders. Back for Havili in the pocket. And as far as Sean Stevenson. And Narua. Then he has space in front of him. Decides to head back away right. And Pablo Matera Bauer makes up for the knock on with a big hit. Cortez Ratima goes down the blind side here. Stevenson. Just on the 10 metre line. The Crusaders with the 11 point advantage. Chiefs trying to find a way through. Ratima. Got another advantage here. Tokiaho plays half back. Brent Gatlin charters it. Stevenson. And no. Nashi called it. Plenty of space in behind. Right idea from Gatlin. Just needed the bounce. Can't just lie there. That's all he needed. Roll out.
He's played well tonight, has Bryn Gatlin. And on any other day, had that set up, Sean Stevenson is good enough to put those away. Yeah, both teams use that option too, Jeff, that little chip on the first five. They're getting the call from their wingers, they're looking to do work. Now they want to nail this line out here, the Chiefs missed out last time. Last time they had Sam Kane at halfback, he's going there again. Looks set to drive the Chiefs. Back for Caleb Boshev, oh. Peter Gasoa, cool it! He's over the line, has he scored? Okay, it's held up. It's Held up the it goal, Brendan Pickerel. On, but it's a goal line. Oh, goodness me, again, yeah. Peter Gus saw yeah, a cooler. What matter. a season he's having. On or held up. It's a goal line drop. Oh, it's well line. worked. They look set to score for all money. On. How on earth did the Crusaders no, manage to scramble and save the... David Harvey. Oh, he's done so very well. You would have thought if he doesn't rip that, so a cooler could have rolled and planted it. Yeah. And now he makes the goal line dropout. David Havili, Crusaders vice captain. There's Sean Stevenson. You know, he's got a prodigious punt on him, but he takes it up the centre of the park for the Chiefs. And Boshia. Cortez Ratama. Angus Tavo waits, gets the ball out the back door for his 5 8 and Bryn Gatlin. Crusaders again hunting at the breakdown. Gatlin once more running. And Moni Narawa just loses it forward. Can't fault the intent of the Chiefs, but at the moment, just the accuracy inside this Crusaders half letting them down. Oh, just a couple of phases away, though, you just feel from breaking this Crusaders defence we've just seen here. Cullen Grace coming off the Crusaders, replacing Pablo Matera. He's been very industrious tonight. Another big shift, Pablo Matera. Scott Robertson during the week said one of his tougher calls in selection. You just can't leave this man out at the moment, but Cullen Grace won test match back against the Wallabies in 2020. More than handy to bring off of the pine. Coach! The offloads okay, let's go is what again. impressed me from Pablo Matera this week. Predominantly, he's been used to carry, and yeah. he passed and popped, and particularly before contact, got rid of the ball so much more than I've seen him do so far in this competition. It just adds a better balance to his game when he can be a little unpredictable Coach. like that. Am I going to carry hard at you, or am I going to pop the pass Fine. to someone more in space? So really good that he's progressing and getting better by the week. 24 minutes to go here in Christchurch. Cullen Grace, a way to Reese. A big fend on Cortez Ratama. A brave effort from the reserve halfback. And now Sam Whitelock with a carry. Peter Gassoa, cooler searches, big turnover, Chiefs again. Hey, White on the ball. Hold what in. hasn't he done tonight, so a cooler? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. I'll tell you what, this Cortez Lee Ratama, he's a Hold tough it. kid. Sevier Reese, you don't mind the contact, we all know that, but he's able to hang on and affect the tackle, and then the ruck after that, Before the turnover's the made start. by Peter Gatso Wakula. Well done, young man. Oh, we're playing. Uh, yeah, Cullen Gray straight to Sevier Reese. And he takes a decent hit, but manages to get the arms out and affect the tackle. Okay. He is tough, you're dead right, KT. 17 out. Hasn't he made the transition back from Japanese rugby to some of his best form? The 92 test all black. And Cullen Grace goes up, he does take it, Ritalik, Ratima. There it is for Nankerville at first receiver, Tom Christie. I think that might be tackle number 80 for the season. There it is, though, for Leonard Brown, getting them over the advantage line. Ratima, Peter Gassoa, cooler. Braden Enor, very good tackle by the midfielder. Now Ritalik again, big contact, black at it. Ten metres out here, the Chiefs. Searching for a try that would bring him right back, but just losing it forward, and Grace snaps it up and takes it forward. Advantage over. Now Mawunga into open pasture in behind the Chiefs. And going back for this is Imone Narawa. 
And some good chase defense here from the Crusaders. Bryn Gatlin back in the pocket, but Stevenson, that boot we talked about, in behind Sam Whitelock. That is a heck of a kick from Sean Stevenson. Holding! Havili. Red, white, out! Out, Red! Makes a clearance of his own, not out, so Stevenson again. The rally continues. Bryn Gatlin, Leonard Brown, he's looked good tonight. On and off the ball, Quintu Payat. Yeah, Imoni Narua, he's been busy too from fullback. Yeah, Ta'avau waits. Angus Ta'avau. Ratima. Chiefs looking good here. Bryn Gatlin breaking the line. Gatlin! Oh, can't quite find Ratima, but he does find no, the other half no, back in Hall. No, and again, the Crusaders off the hook. Use it, Red. But gee, he's playing out of his skin tonight, Bryn Gatlin. Christie. Uh, hold. I think a clearance will come Holy here. Red, yes, it will. Lester Fanga Nuku. And will it go out? Yes, it will. And Sean Stevenson will settle things down. Let's all take a breath. Oh, it's quite outstanding from Bryn Gatlin. The show and go, and then back on the inside, but equally outstanding defence from the little number nine. He needed to get his hands on that ball. He positioned himself perfectly. And a certain try save from Bryn Hall, and that was probably that was his last act. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, replaced. Jersey 21 by Totoro Tahuru Rang, and also Georgie Bridge. He's coming on for Lister Fanga Anuku, and um, Nato Akoi has come on for the Chiefs. Jersey 19 replacing Tupo Bai. There it is for Kane. Line out for the Chiefs. Ratima, oh, this time. So a cool Can't reel it in. Puts the hand up, says, Sorry, boys. Hasn't done much wrong tonight. Big Peter Gus, so a cooler. Yeah, uh, you're being subbed too. Yeah, okay, we'll take time off here. He, the prop needs a sprig, so we're going to get the oh, sprig in. Not oh, he said uh, George two. Bridge. Is it not two? Oh, is it and on the action now, yeah, 20 minutes to You've go in and Christchurch. Let me see. Yeah, Re Rivers Rayhan has come on in Jersey 23 for the Chiefs, replacing yeah. Imone Narawa. He needs a sprig. Yeah. And it looks like also Bradley Slater's come on in Jersey 16. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Talking about, oh, he's been good tonight. He has been. Well, the Chiefs, they'll be a little disappointed at their conversion rate for the possession and time that they've had in this area of the game since the Crusaders scored with Enor. They just haven't been able to quite cohesively piece it all together and finish the job. And that's what the Crusaders do to you. They suck the life out of you. They make you earn every single little point. And at the moment, the Chiefs just can't get across that line. Feel they can get that break, convert it, the Chiefs. There is no shortage of belief. It has been a long time since they tasted victory here in Christchurch. Over six years. But they, with 20 to go, aren't far away from it. And the man with the ball for the Crusaders, well, he had plenty of inside okay, information guys. for... Scott Robertson this yeah, week. Time is on. at the Huri Orangi. 46 games for the Chiefs over four seasons. Just to reinforce my, my statement, check out that. Tackles made. The Crusaders, 137 tackles at 90%. So only 76 from the Chiefs. So the Chiefs just got to get their conversion rate better. Fine! And you can bet a fair share of those Six, that have gone to Tom Christie. Tight head, overextend. And this will help. Overextending, yeah. Help. Yeah, right, come back. Tom Florence on the park for the Chiefs. Big season last year at the Bunnings NPC. He's bracketed tonight with Lachlan McQuannell. Eric Hallett with a charge into Cullen Grace this time. 
That's him. Up. Still playing advantage there. Up on defence, Quinton Strange. That goes for Gatlin out the bat. And George Bridge, no mistakes for the man of the 23 jumper. Red, and Jordan, red. low flat kick. Okay, Turning the Chiefs around here. and Bryn Gatlin, but that'll yeah. go too far. As the subs about to keep coming, I think, yeah, KT. Yeah. yeah, well, the tempo's been higher, so both of these teams now, technically, okay, perfect. is using their bench to Thank great you. effect. We know how deep the Crusaders go, so yeah, it's going to be Dominic Gardner coming on pretty soon in Jersey 19. I think we'll get this play done and dusted first. Let's head now to a man not playing tonight. Chase Tents here, Chase. Hectic 63 minutes. What a game so far. What have you made of it? Yeah, it's um, been a great game from us so far. Um, we haven't quite fired too many shots. Um, the Crusaders are taking most of their opportunities. Um, hopefully now that we're in their half, we'll um, get some points on the board. How can you exploit this Crusaders team in the last 17? Uh, we've just got to stay in the fight, I think. Um, most of these games come down to the last 10, 5 minutes of the game, so we've just got to dig deep and take opportunities. And just quickly, Chase, so much pride, I guess, so many Crouch. changes during the week, but uh, it's a heck of an effort so far Fine. from your side. Yeah, we've got um, great uh, talent, great depth, so um, boys are really taking the opportunity out there today. Thanks, Chase. Cheers, thank you. The pressure, the Crusaders. So our cooler. Oh, guys, that's all come up. It's all come up. We're going again. We'll get to set it again. again. Oh, that was some big weight coming. Oh, I thought Tuttlevault from the tight head actually did pretty well, pretty well to stay down. There's no yeah, doubt about the fact that okay. so Bauer sure got underneath him. Yep. But he didn't stand up immediately. He didn't, in fact, he didn't stand up. He bent a little bit, but I thought he was quite resilient there, and I think that's why he's got a favourable result out of that from the referee, Brendan Pickerel. No Sione Mafilil tonight, no Atu Moli, Josh Lord. Teatia, of course, Chase Teatia. Weber, Josh Ioane. Without plenty of key personnel, Clayton McMillan, but this Six. Chiefs side tonight, putting in one heck of an effort against the champions. Stable for Sawakula, now Ratima, a chance to show what he has on attack. Cortez Ratima does well, 22 for the Chiefs. Sawakula, one off, he's met well again. Cullen Grace in there. Now Ratima away to Angus Tavol, Quinton Strange. Makes the tackle. Sean Stevenson shaped a kick. Instead runs into Ethan Black at it. Great strength to try and hold the player up. Ratima. Now, it is therefore Gatlin. Just on the 22 now, the Chiefs. Six phases. Out, leave and 15 to go in Christchurch. Playing advantage. They have an That's advantage too. Slowing it down. Crusaders not releasing. Anton Leonard Brown. Ratima. Taval again. Out. This trips over the attempted tackle of Sam Whitelock. White. Like Akoi. Gatlin, no, oh, passes straight to Sebu Reese. But no release. Brendan Pickerel comes back. Okay, hey, the Chiefs here. showing plenty on attack. Well, they're really pushing all the buttons, the Chiefs, testing that 90% tackle accuracy of the Crusaders. I love the way that Bryn Gatlin's played all evening, Fine. flat to the line. He's trying to hit runners in space. Ratima is a very dangerous, breaks tackles, and from there they tried plenty of innovations. Okay. Okay, we do have some subs, guys. Just time off here. Yeah, subs coming on here for the Chiefs in Jersey 18. You can see George Dyer on his debut. Super Rugby just replacing Ta'abo, who took a hard hit just that last set of play. Big night for George Dyer, 22 years of age. Former New Zealand under 20s, out of Fraser Tech. A couple of debuts. Matima. And George Dyer, the man in 18 for the Chiefs.
And it checks through. Florence. Ten metres out here. Bradley Slater. One swipe. Locks in at the back. Slater has it. All breaks down. So going to Paya. Yeah, Ratima. Kane. Aitoa Akoi. Player ranging outside in Nankaville. He was open. Now Slater waits, but it's Retallick who goes straight into Quinton Strange. Ten out here, the Chiefs. Florence. Dyer waits, but it goes to Oli Norris. And Crusaders trying to affect a turnover. Five metres from their line. Ratima, Peter Gassoa, Kula. Met by two Crusaders players on defence. Dyer. For the moment, the Crusaders up to task. With Kane flying up there, Cullen Grace. Chiefs building nicely, 11 phases, Ratima. A turnover here, Quinton Strange has done well. So again, it's been diffused. And uh, play on. Play on is the call for Braden then also. Tom Christie has it. That's Sam Whitelock. Has, uh, the Chiefs through Brady Retallick try and pinch it back, but Holding again... Red, wait. The Crusaders through the boot of Richie Moonga will find a touch 30 out from their own line. Oh, that's just outstanding defence. It, it really is. Right from the line out when they push the Chiefs backwards, but not a tackle missed. And the Chiefs offered plenty with the ball in hand. But that's stereotypical, resilient Crusaders at its very, very best. 100% attitude, isn't it, Marshy? As you know, and a couple of changes just to come on as well. Jersey 17, Abraham Pauli replacing Fletcher Newell. And then Dominic Gardner is off on Jersey 19. Uh, on, sorry, on Jersey 19. Over the back of Arcoy. That's there for Ratima Gatlin. Flat tackle, ball on. Nice. Went to buy it. But Tom Christie makes another tackle. Cody Taylor with defence on Florence. Pick up and go from Big Brady Retallick Ratima now. He's looked handy, hasn't he? Cortez Ratima had to weigh up a contract at the Crusaders or the Chiefs and settle with the Hamilton franchise. Now Peter Gus saw cool again. Gee, how many touches is that tonight for the big number eight? Brent Gatlin inside ball for Nankerville. Such an asset, so experienced. Now Quintu Paya, Bauer is in there with Blackadder on defence. This defence is outstanding for the Crusaders. Nine phases again for the Chiefs, and Quintu Paya is met by a red and black wall. Ratima, again, Morris. Can they find a crack through? Sean Stevenson getting the leg drive going, the fend. He has been busy off of his wing tonight. And Rivers, Rehana. Latima again under so much pressure. Think. Crusaders rampant on defence as they look for a counter ruck. Hand up from Bradley Slater. Now Gatlin again to Bayer. Again, the double act of Bauer and Blackadder. Retallick picks up and goes. Lost forward red. Lost forward advantage. red, the call. So the Chiefs have an advantage. Leonard Brown. Gatlin has Kane on the outside. Trying to get over the ball, the Crusaders. Ratima has it for the Chiefs. This defence is exceptional from the champions. Florence gets the ball away here. Stevenson with the kick for Nackerville. Oh, Mwonga gets back. Again, the Crusaders emptying the tank on defence. Oh, just full of admiration for both sides. The Chiefs' ball retention was absolutely incredible and so patient. They tried absolutely everything, and the Crusaders equally patience on defence and just not falling off tackles. Amazing. Charlotte finds on in jersey 16, yep, replacing the skipper Cody Taylor, and also Ramika Poihibi on in jersey 22, replacing Anton Leonard Brown.
So Akula lines it up. Yeah, takes it down. The Rudy knows best. Route one, Natoya Akoi. Ratima looks down the blind for Gatlin. Now Nankerville again. Whitelock goes through the tackle of the All Black veteran. Akoi out the back door here. They come. Bradley Slater, an offside advantage here. The Crusaders have it though. And so no advantage will come. Offside. And you guys are all off the And with eight minutes to go in Christchurch. Uh, Big decision here, mark? Justin Marshall. Well, okay. look, they've got them okay. so fatigued now. Here we are, offside 17. Like the right tackle rate is incredible. They're nearly up around 200 tackles. And that is phenomenal. They're talking this over. The skipper and Bryn Gatlin. I, I, I don't think they need to. They just have to keep pressing and pressing. The, the, the Crusaders must be absolutely gassed. <laughs> Like they've literally made about 50 tackles in the last five or six yeah. minutes. Hold Look it, at yeah. that tackle rate. Hold. And the completion okay, is incredible. Guys, we got you can see it, here Fergus Burke just replacing Tim, uh, Richie Morgan. He's succumbed to some cramp. No, no, wait, hold it then. Oh, well, can the Chiefs. Time on. Due to the Crusaders, what the Blues did to them at Eden Park last week. And snatch this one. Akoi goes up. There it is. Cortez Ratima. Puihepe. He's met in midfield. Rameka Puihepe. Gatlin floats it away. Tupaya steps off the right back and field. And oh, Crusaders again. The Maulers call Bolo Sebu. Reese has it. Well, they have scored two tries tonight, but. As Justin Marshall's pointed out, almost 200 tackles. And if they're to hold on here, that is certainly what wins this for the Crusaders. How many of them have been turnovers in this position? They're five metres out. That's like three or four times. Severe is outstanding. Slater, and it goes for Italic Ratima. Went to buy it. He's run well tonight, has the second 5-8. Now Florence has it. Okay, advantage offside. Offside advantage here for the Chiefs again. So a cooler. No, advantage again. Another advantage. Crusaders have to be careful here. Sam Kane out the back door. Now it's Nackerville. Alex Nackerville, good tackle. Play David on. Havili. I think it's pulled up with a bit of cramp. Just outside the 22 for the Chiefs. Akoi. Sean Stevenson, Dyer floats it away for Soakula. Enor again, another tackle. They've tackled themselves into the ground here in Christchurch. Retallick driven back. Still Plenty of intent to White. with five to go from Sam Whitelock. Now Norris. Again, the strength tackle. of Tom Christie. Release tackle him. made though. Release. So the open yes. side has to release him. And Dyer waits. The man on debut. Gatlin. There it is for Rehana. Smacked by the Crusaders' defence once more. Still playing advantage to White. 11 Italy. phases the Chiefs. Ratima. Tom. There it is. Tupaya. Shifting it away. Kane. And up for Stevenson. Oh, what a finish. Absolutely brilliant. There's the try the Chiefs needed. And it's all on in Christchurch. Has he finished it? It looks like they're happy, all of the officials. Glenn Newman will probably have a little look. They seem confident. They finally managed to create an overlap. It wasn't a missed tackle. They just simply ran out of numbers. As he goes, Stevenson, he launches. Down, boy, down. Oh, you look at the handling, back ball, then straight through, bang, bang. The skipper with the last pass, and Sean Stevenson, one of the best finishers in the game. Mark that down, second try. Phenomenal passage of play by the Chiefs. They kept coming back. They weren't leaving without points. What's the overall count there? Now this to make it a four-point ball game. Bryn Gatland. Absolutely brilliant.
coming up to three to go in Christchurch. It is a four-point game in the Super Rugby final rematch. We saw Lester Fanga Nuku do something similar to that not too long ago. That is a very big try in the career of uh, Sean Stevenson. Okay, let's go. Well, they've earned the ice bath tonight. Both of these teams, Cortez Ratama, you've got to say, some impact he's had on debut. Nankerville. The ever-reliable Alex Nankerville. No. 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 Ratima to the skies. Jordan takes it. Stevenson is dragging him towards the touchline. Chiefs have to get out of there. So Tahuri Orangi. Touch has been the dominance of the Chiefs. I think that's the first time of call. Tahuri Tahuri Orangi's name as they try and blow through through Kane. Grace just on the Chiefs' side of halfway. The Huri Orangi to the skies again. Advancing, yeah. Okay. Going for it was, oh, was Here's a chance. Well, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Number 16, Red. Bryn Gatlin, how Advancing many meters can he peel kicker. off here? And the Chiefs, oh, like they have done here, for the last 20 minutes, right here. will work their right. attack off their line out formation. And look, look at that. The last three penalties, Marshy. That's what. He's given the Chiefs this chance. Not as far as I'm sure as you want it to go. So it'll be a line out 25 metres out from the Crusaders line. They try to win it for the Chiefs. Brody Retallick does the first part. There for Kane. Cortez Ratama, so a cool up. Winds up. Yeah, Ratama again. Puihepi. Out the back, Gatlin, oh, Rehana, getting over the ball, Henor, trying to at least, Ratima again, Gatlin, finds Norris in centre field. Kane waits, it goes to Stevenson, out to Payet, Henor searching again, had his hands on it, Ratima, here they come, Gatlin. Breaking the line again, dragged down just outside the Crusaders 22. Kane, cut out ball to Paya, puts the step on bridge. 30 seconds to go in Christchurch. Dyer places it back for Ratima. Now Nackerville. Here they come, Gatlin. Tom Florence needs a bit of support. Fergus Burke with the tackle. They've got an advantage here again. So Akula can chance his arm. Go for something miracle, otherwise back for the penalty. Ratima, it's Kane though. The captain picks up and goes. Not getting around the tackle of Abram Pole. Now Nackerville. Retallet, good tackle on him. Dominic Gardner, a second generation Crusader, but Pickerel blows his whistle. Second and that was the hooter you heard. Ruck, second crack, 14 red. Oh, this is where you have to go to Brody Retallick. He's your money man, his call. Yeah, isn't it ironic? That's where they have been going, haven't they, KT? The last three or four lineouts, it's been all Retallick. Yeah, thank you. They, they have really good variations when they have Sam Kane standing yeah, in at halfback. And they've got a short lineout variation, a full one. They've obviously got Soakula who can bounce off the front as well, and that is a very good kick. Oh, ho, ho, look out, boy. We are on big time. 27th of February, 2016, the last time the Chiefs won in Christchurch. Florence goes up. It's there for Soakula. Christie, big defence again. Ratima, Florence waits. Loading up the Chiefs, Retallick. Again, Christie, valiant on defence. Away to the left, so a cooler, big tackle. Oh, for the Chiefs! Numbers away to the left, they're gonna score, they're gonna win it! There it is for Rameka Puyipi! There it is for the Chiefs in Christchurch! Oh, and the banging I can hear!
and the jubilation from the Chiefs, the bangings from the coaching shed right next to us in the commentary box. They have gone berserk, and why wouldn't they? What stamina, what resilience, what patience from this Chiefs side against equally a resilient Crusaders defence. They worked hard, they stayed in the fight, and when they needed to execute, they got it absolutely bang on. The finish was exceptional. The work rate was outstanding. Everybody stood up. Let's just watch it and admire it. That was the finish. Rameka Poihepe. The Chiefs tonight have thrown everything at the Crusaders. That's what you have to do to beat them, particularly in Christchurch, where they have tasted success for the first time in over six years. Didn't get the chance to seal it last week at Eden Park, Bryn Gatlin. But he does tonight in Christchurch. The Chiefs win it. They beat the defending champions. One heck of a game of rugby, and it finishes 24 points to 21. Oh, magic scenes in the Chiefs' change and coaching box, I should say. And this was two heavyweights going toe to toe. It had absolutely everything. Yes, it had a dramatic finish. It had physicality, skill set, razzle dazzle. You name it. This game delivered. When you think about the changes to Clayton McMillan's side during the week. No Josh Ioane, no Brad Webber, Sioni Muffy Leo, Natu Mole, Josh Lord, to name a few. The 23 players that turned up tonight have stunned the Crusaders' coaching box. Well, you could absolutely say that you sat and watched two teams so very equal in all of the areas of the game tonight and it was always going to come down to a moment and the way that both teams showed just incredible character has to be admired really well refereed as well I thought by Brendan Pickerel because we got a game that flowed and had everything that you would ask for for two teams that really always deliver on the night. What a debut for Cortez Ratama and Chiefs Colours. Bryn Gatlin, a big part of the night, a big part of that try. And a man who's played plenty of rugby in Christchurch. Rameka Poihepi finishes it off. Delight in the Chiefs box and their captain, Sam Kane, standing by with Kaltenana. Sammy, that last 10 minutes, just talk me through that. How much gut buster was that? Yeah, um, far out. We're on the other end of it last week. I feel like we say it every time uh, the, Kiwi, the Kiwi teams play. It's just down to the wire. And um, oh, Look, we had a mountain of position that second half. They defended so well. We just had to keep plugging, building phases, building phases. And um, you know, we stayed disciplined and managed to get what we needed just in the nick of time. Oh, they were tough nut to crack next for sure. Was, was there a little sense of frustration kicking in at all when you're down camp down there? Yeah, a little bit. Um, probably a little bit more in the first half. We, we had opportunities, our uh, set piece was going good, and then we just uh, mucked something up which would affect our flow um, and ability to build pressure. But um, yeah, just really proud of the belief, particularly after um, you know just coming out on the wrong end last week to come down here. We know it's a tough place to play and um, really proud of the effort. Just talk me through that last line out, Tom Florence using him as the option as well. Yeah, um, I think we'd used it earlier in the game and, and Pitts got held up just around the corner. Um, I suppose it was a bit of a brave option to, to go at that point in the game, but um, you know, credit to Bradley Slater for putting the, putting the ball on the dot. Just talk me through this Chiefs money to be able to stick through this fight. You knew it was hard, you are down by plenty, but once again, just that last 10 minutes to be able to dig through for the jersey. Yeah. Look, I think when we rewatch the tape, there'll just be um, 
want to say a shitload, but <laughs> a heck of a lot of effort. Just guys getting up around the corner, working, cleaning. Our carry clean game was real strong in the 22 there. Uh, you know, they managed to give away a, a penalty off um, that first try, which gave us the chance to to seal it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, really tough game. But um, you know, we're back in the hunt for sure now. And especially the pride, be able to come down here and get a win. Not many teams were able to do that, but it seems like you're able to get another one down here. Yeah, crikey. I don't even know if I can think of a time uh, in, in recent times where I've got one down here. So yeah, certainly cherish it. Well done, Skip. Uh, thanks, mate. Well, it was more than six years ago that the Chiefs before tonight had success against the Crusaders in Christchurch. Fair enough, Sam Kane lost for a few words there. Let's go to the other side of it tonight. Cody Taylor standing by with KT. Cody, I know disappointment would be an understatement. You watching from the sideline, how was it, especially that last stanza? It was tough. I think uh, we probably didn't play as smart as we should have in that last sort of 20. Uh, gave away a few penalties and um, they got, you know, got their momentum on us and, and took their opportunity. So, yeah, it's tough. You lose at home. Um, but they, they obviously wanted it more and uh, we knew that that was the case. They were going to go for 80 and they did so. If, could you put your finger on it why you couldn't get out of your own 22 and half in particular for the majority of the second part? Oh, they, I think they wanted to play a bit more, hold on to the ball um, in that second half and, and we probably didn't nail our, our defensive roles. Uh, and yeah, when, when you don't do that and, and they get a roll on, they got some classy players and, and they put pressure on us. So. Now, some, I don't know how you did it, but the amount of times you're able to turn ball over and scramble well, I mean, that was a massive plus tonight. Yeah, we do pride ourselves on that, but um, if you do that too many times, they're going to get over the line eventually, and, and you saw that in that sort of last five minutes, they scored two tries, so, yeah. What is it about these Chiefs Crusaders games are just always bangers? Oh, it's a, it's a good old um, rivalry. Oh, uh, I suppose it's been built over the last few years, uh, sort of, it's a good old arm wrestle, you know, they get some, we get some, and um, it never lets anyone down. It's a pretty entertaining game, so, yeah. I know, a tough time. Good luck for next week. Always a pleasure, my man. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Yeah, first loss in 11 games for the Crusaders. They've got the Blues at home next week. The Chiefs away to the Hurricanes. They're up to fifth on the Super Rugby Pacific ladder. One heck of a game of rugby. A great advertisement for our game. 24 points to 21. All the analysis, Goldie and the crew, after the break. <laughs>